Forever. We're here today. We're here now. I'm back, I guess. You know, I say this every single time. Like, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Let's just, let's just not be surprised that I disappeared again, okay? That's literally one of my main traits and my strengths. I am able to disappear. <laughs> um, We're back, obviously. It's 11.36. Um, I just came back from a meeting from work and I had to be there at 8 and I closed at 2 in the morning. So... You know, of course I had to get my trusty dandy, like, coffee today. I need I need a little dopamine rush, and right now my dopamine is this. It's a... It's like a Mexican mocha, I think. This is a large size. It's really good, actually. Spice up your morning with an exquisite fusion of fine ground cocoa, vanilla, cinnamon, and almond mixed with espresso with 2% milk to make it creamy and smooth. This drink is available ice hot or blended. I got it iced. This shit. So good, y'all. So good. So good. So, like, once I, like, tasted it, and I was like, mm, I had, to, I got to decide whether I liked it or not. I decided I liked it. I recommend this 100%. But yeah, I came home before I left for this meeting today. I have barely gone to sleep. Like I got home at like three in the morning, I think. Um. Yeah, like I really could not sleep last night. All right, like I'm gonna like set myself up in this corner to talk to y'all. But like, I don't know. Cause like I was kind of paranoid I was gonna miss this meeting because it was like a special meeting. Now I got my coffee. Cause I, I mean, I can that, but I feel like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm gonna take this day to just roam and be okay if I don't do anything productive, like cleaning wise in my room. Cause I feel like right now my room has just been the main source of anxiety for me. And let me show you why. Like, I'm just, because this is like definitely on the cleaner side for me like especially my desk but then there's like that i don't know i don't know what to say the main thing is just starting maybe if i just sit here in silence i'm gonna think about it too much and i'm gonna get anxious and i'm gonna make myself do it that's my that's been my method as of late just like make let myself get so anxious but not give myself something to do to get my like to work off my anxiousness so i have to do the thing kind of like it's kind of like reverse psychology myself <laughs> from washing the dishes right now good a good day everybody like hi how you doing i mean we're here so that's hilarious no it's not actually it's just it's just different but i got my little like hydro flask from because i left my other hydro flask in my car and i didn't feel like going all the way down my car just for a water bottle when i had this one right here you know what i mean yeah this morning i woke up um realized that i was really late for educational time i was just like okay you know what not you know what my life is still it's, it's it's a lot better but i still i maybe maybe i just need to rot in bed today but then i also like didn't think it through like, rotting in bed for me is a lot different i feel like whenever i i can't rot in bed until my life is put together but when does life feel put together you know what i mean like my life never feels put together but at least having enough for it to be 
able to rot in bed, but I've never ever in my whole life been able to rot in bed. So, I mean, my definition of a rest day is basically just a full day of self-care and cleaning and working on like my like hobbies, I guess. Which y'all might be tired of me like saying this every two seconds. I literally saw a meme actually, hold on. It was literally like when you figure out something that you've always done is part of your part of an ADHD symptom and, it, and you just kind of add it to your collection. Fucking hilarious because that is hilarious. I've also been just like been like finding myself talking in a lisp and I don't know how to stop it. Like I just ended up talking like that and I feel like I've always had a lisp but I've always just been very conscious and like trying to hide it but like I literally can't. I literally can't. It's like kind of getting annoying but I swear I'm not doing it on purpose which I also subconsciously consciously change it back to like not having a lisp but then I just revert and it just ever ending cycle but anyways we're gonna do our my skincare now all of these goodies don't even know where i left the headband actually oh it's right here got a headband and it came with like the two wrist thingies to like soak up the water when you're washing your face so it doesn't like run down your hand i also got lint free hand towels for my desk because um i find myself when i'm trying to put in my contacts because contacts are like relatively new for me still but i'm like also still just shoving them in my eyes so i can see so i don't have to wear glasses anymore but like i never knew how important lint free stuff was for it i will literally have clean hands i've been on something and it like lint just pops up on my finger it's so annoying now i know why doctors told me to get lint free did not listen to her at first but then i then then when it made sense to me i i i i list, i i went ahead and did yeah it's very sad that that is how it has to work but that is how it works at least with me i don't know i can't find i need to find a way to like not look silly in this but like ever since i got bangs i don't know it just feels weird with like my forehead just exposed i definitely don't have the largest forehead but i don't have this i don't have like the, the nicest forehead either i don't know it's not even just this right here it's literally just this up here like how it looks all right this is as good as it's gonna get i have my little mirror right here the first thing we're gonna do is actually put on my contact. I always have sanitizer here, but I learned you have to rinse afterwards with solution because then you're still gonna have the alcohol on your hand and it's gonna fucking burn. I still want it to be like unbacterialized, but it's also still gonna burn. A little hack for me, don't know if it's actually right, so I wouldn't do it if I were you, I'm just me, so I did it. I am gonna hand sanitize my hands, even though I literally just came from the bathroom and washed them there. We just adapt here. We adapt and adapt and adapt, especially for our brain. We work with our brain, not against it. And let me just stop being inspirational now. This is the finger that I use for both eyes to like put them in my hand, on my, in my eye. Didn't want to go in, probably because it was upside down, because I didn't really check. Some days I'm just like, oh, I can pop it in real fast. Other days it's like this, where I'm just like, maybe, maybe I'm going to irritate my eyes before I get them in, but it's okay. Pretty sure they're still inside out because they're not grasping my eye yet. No, this is definitely inside out though. Okay, let me try contact solution inside of it. There we go, it's just really, really dry. What's not a doozy? Also, my little like LA painting fell down. It's kind of really sad. I don't know when it happened. I just noticed like this morning when I woke up and I was like, oh, I feel like that's been like that for a little bit, but I just now noticed it. So, mm, cause like I had like subconsciously been wondering, oh, like where did my LA Hollywood painting go and like it wasn't until this morning when I sat up in bed when I realized I was late and I looked at my wall and I was like it just fell it's still there it's just fallen um will I do anything about it today maybe maybe not you we will never know eye bubbles the eye the eye bubbles air bubbles the air bubbles are crazy I'm also severely dehydrated as you can see by my veins I don't know if it's just because like I just have this fear of just not being clean enough so I just tend to do everything until I feel clean enough. I actually don't know if that's just me or if that's also ADHD manifesting. A lot of things became clearer in my life once I got diagnosed by an actual professional prof profesh, professional saying that I had ADHD and I wasn't just you know, saying it for shits and giggles. And I realized that I, a lot of things in my life have actually been affected by my ADHD and not just my inability to follow through with things. That's why I didn't think I had ADHD for the longest like ever since i was little because like i was never like the hyperactive if it came down to it i always had good grades i always did my work which is why it was really hard to diagnose me and i and it wasn't until like i turned 18 i was like hey 
this is not right. I literally see how other people my age function and I'm not functioning correctly. Not functioning in the same way, at least. At least, at least the same way. All right, at least I should be. And that is how it came about. So if you maybe wanna like, wanna hear me talk all about that, like how my life just basically makes sense and that I know that for a fact, I am the way I am because of this and it's not my fault, let me know. Cause I will definitely make that video for you. And then being medicated for it. What did I just think? Oh, I need to put water in this. Okay, I'll be back. Alrighty y'all. I'm back. Let me just get back into my comfortable position again. Have the tools to get my life together. Now I just need to implement them every day. This is like cream for ro my rosacea because my cheeks get really fucking red. Yeah. And then I also got Trenoin. It's actually been helping a lot, actually. Like, I just, I think I'm still purging right now because, like, I'm still getting, like, all these bumps. And especially around my mouth because, like, it's gunk or something, whatever, in my face for so long it's finally coming out this is my spf sunscreen moisturizer all in one little thing that i do in the morning it's literally almost done but i literally just do the little lines enough for it to work put on my forehead my cheeks especially my chin i've been trying to sleep uh fix my sleep schedule so my like um my like discoloration under my eyes is getting better slowly 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 but the but the but the but the But the point of the matter is, they're getting better. Slowly but surely. Um, what's up to that? That is literally it. I'm gonna do this, glycolic acid. I always saw like the TikTok girlies being like, oh my God, TikTok glycolic acid will solve all of your problems. It, I don't really know if I believe you, but I'm gonna try it out anyway. Um, let me just tell you, it does. It does. It does solve a lot not maybe all of your problems but a lot of the problems that you may be having with your like body maybe 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 as you just saw i just put under my arms because it's supposed to like eliminate the darkness of it razor bumps like the smell basically like your body odor it's actually helped at first i thought i was doing nothing because like i actually noticed myself smelling a little bit more stronger but then eventually I think it was just that also that detoxing phase where like once it like detoxes it, it like just maintains the no smell kind of thing. Amazing. We're gonna put some hand sanitizer on again and I'll I'm actually gonna go wash my hands too because I don't know, it's just the thought. I'm not gonna I'm gonna try to touch my face again after touching my armpits. It's just No, there's nothing wrong with any of this, by the way. But like if it is like something that you're concerned about, it's really hard to try. But you, there is like a period where you need to like really be careful with it because like you can burn your skin off so like you kind of need to like ease yourself into it to like build a tolerance to it hopefully like something that i say resonates with somebody and like it's not just actually just talking to talk just to yeah you know what i mean just to hear myself talk which i do i do love that but like i also want it to have some sort of meaning and purpose some substance sub substance substance sustenance sustenance not substance i've been combining two words this whole time and nobody has had the balls to tell me sustenance and then substance that is fucking hilarious well at least i figured it out now like after like six months of using that word or creating the word i guess i'm shocked Alrighty, <laughs> let's just move past that now um some petroleum gel on our lips now. I'm actually like so happy that I've gotten to this point where like I like look forward to doing my skincare every day instead of it being like a chore. Cause don't get me wrong, it definitely was a chore. Like I definitely had to remind myself, be like, oh like you need to do your skincare, you need to wash your face, girly, like you need to put the medicine and moisturizer SPF on as well. Kind of had to take away that all or nothing kind of um mindset for me or like what's the point of like washing my face if i'm not gonna put moisturizer on so like that's when i had to adopt micellar water and quad baths this this is what has helped me this little baby step the little baby step of using micellar water on the days that it was a little bit harder to go to the bathroom and wash my face completely and accepting that this is as good as it's gonna get and then if i don't feel up to it That is, that is that is actually a really prime example of me learning to work with myself and eventually working up and building them. I think my biggest like downfall is like as I, as soon as I learn something that works for me, I wanna I wanna share it to and like talk about it to like other people and like maybe it'll like 
try to solve it'll solve their problems too i have also had to accept that some people just don't want to hear it <laughs> plain as that like some people just don't need your help they got it covered themselves i think about it in the way that i wish somebody would have just kind of came up to me and told me and i would have been like oh okay and then like started it by myself that's just that's literally just me maybe somebody else also resonates with that a lot of the people in my life don't also had to realize that and adapt in the real life and i feel like i've always been that way like if i've found something that works with me i try the hardest to like push it onto somebody i know and it's very very annoying for the people in my life slowly trying to get better at it unless you're like literally my family members or my best friend and i literally will push onto you and you let me because you know you love me anyway so also i need it i should have just left my bangs alone because now they're gonna drive me nuts and i'm gonna go crazy if i don't fix them correctly okay so what if i told you that i've low-key been struggling with my bangs it really should not be this difficult but i definitely am making it difficult for myself I'm just gonna do it the lazy way and just do it like that just push all the way back just did my hair kind of scared to let my hair down right here again because like what if it just maybe it's because like maybe it's when i like bring out the brush that like everything just goes to shit maybe just need to stop messing with it after like a certain point how do I just not mess with it though? Like, it literally looks like this. Like, sometimes I just don't understand my hair because like, why are you acting? It hasn't been with me my whole life. Actually, this head of hair has not been with me my whole life, actually. Laugh out loud. Hair grows and you cut it off. So this hair has not been with me for my whole life, actually, so. Wow, that is, wow. I don't know why that's so like, mind-boggling to me, but like, I'm sure somebody else has made the same discovery, but it's just, it's, it's really big to me right now, okay? These are like my trial ones. I haven't used this last one apparently. What do I do now? Okay, what is on my list for today though? Okay, I completely forgot what I was doing earlier and I ended up texting some more, but makeup time, I get My definition of makeup is eyeliner. That is it. That's all I do for makeup. So when I say, oh yeah, I'm just gonna take off my makeup. I'm literally just gonna rub some micellar water with the Q-tip around my eyes and call it a day. So this is the only makeup that I have ever really worn. And it just makes me look and feel so much better. It's like how some girls can't go out without mascara. I can't go out without eyeliner. And it's never about like, no, well maybe it is, sometimes it is, but like a lot of the times it probably isn't because like, they feel completely ugly it's maybe just because it just literally just gives them a confidence boost because now they like fully feel pretty that might have made absolutely no sense but it made perfect sense to me so i'm just gonna I'm just gonna stand with it <laughs> so. okay that is a little thicker than i usually do it but i'm not gonna try to fix it and make it even thicker so woohoo my makeup is done and if i am feeling a little extra today i mean i do have my lip liner right here i think i also have like some sort of like i forgot what it's called but it's when the color of your lip is like the tiniest bit in than like your where your lip actually like the shape of your lip is if i actually like fill in like all the way to the end of my lips then it's gonna look like, a little bit funny because it just looks huge but that is actually i'm just gonna stop talking because it's not even it's pointless right now i'm not i'm just arguing against myself <laughs> 